Hey, if you guys, welcome to the shift. I want to start with oracles and then do tarot and then finish up with runes. Uh, it's been a while since I've done oracles and runes. So um, I did a live the other day on last Sunday with just oracles and it came out so cool. Um, so I did that for Pisces and now for you guys. Um, so I'm going to pull an animal oracle just to have like an overview for this reading, for the energy of this reading. And then, and then we're going to move to the tarot. How are you guys doing? How are you feeling? Life is crazy. Feels like shit. I get it. Cow spirit, the miracles are endless. Amen. The cow wearing a crown. The cow is such a gentle, um, loving, innocent creature that is probably one of the most abused, if not the most abused animals on the planet right now. Um, you know, it goes through the meat industry and the dairy industry. So just just a, a reflection for anyone who's vegetarian out there. If you don't eat meat because you care about animals, that's great. But then if you do consume dairy, it's it's like, what's the point then, really? Because it is the same. Um, if not even worse, because the cows go through twice the torment of other um species in the meat industry that we don't consume their dairy right and here she is wearing her crown i feel like she's kind of done being gentle and nice it's like you know what i'm done being abused and used um for my generosity and having lo losing my life force for it don't care about the feelings about those who don't care about my feelings don't care about the consequences against those who don't care about the consequences of what they do to me maybe that's that's you and th this whole miracles are endless thing i i feel like it might be an overreach but i feel like it's kind of giving you the go to just be yourself freely wearing your crown and things will work out right miracles possibilities for miracles are endless things will just work out and be okay um wear your crown cow and when i say cow i mean it with the ab absolute compliment um yeah love this okay now let's move on to the tarot i'm gonna work with the writer weight today this is for now and you know maybe for the next month so reasonably in the near future too many cards have dropped the hermit The truth is lonely. And one's inner truth is a lonely journey that one can only do on their own. And they can have road signs and um, roadside assistance. But you're the only one who can actually go within and see in that yeah, i feel like you're on this you're on this trip you're on this journey right now and it feels alone it feels solitary it feels like you are even if you're surrounded with people i feel like you're going through something very lonely that you don't feel like you have anyone to share it with this is lapis lazuli if someone out there is wondering
Judgment and King of Pentacles. So, confirmation, this is a process of awakening, of self-awakening. You are really re realizing yourself. And this is the empowerment that we spoke of with the cow spirit. The earth energy in you, the who you are, what you are, is stepping into itself in a royal manner, in a kingsly manner, unapologetically powerfully you after a profound realization of who you are it's something is waking up in you like a dormant inner power energy um approach I, i'm picking up on a really wise but also non-apologetic type of energy like fearless you're not afraid to speak to say the truth um you're not afraid to be alone for doing so. But having the King of Pentacles here, this is actually a really uh, reassuring good sign that shows that you're actually going to be more than okay. Um, you're not going to be dismissed or um, denounced. You're going to be honored and heard for it. I think it's going to feel like, oh my God, what took me so long to just be who I am and speak my truth or speak the truth, right? Um, without fear, without worry, without guilt, without shame, without hesitancy. Nine of Swords, fears, fears of loss, fears of being alone, fears of being rejected, fears of... failing but it's like you take it you take it as a possibility and you still you still do you right you still built you still operate you don't you don't let your fears hold you back anymore so even if something is scary or, or concerning um if you used to let it kind of stop you or hold you back now you don't you're like, okay, I can be scared, but still do the thing I need to do. <laughs> Three of Pentacles. It was at the bottom of the deck. I left it there, but now it's, it came out. Love it. When they want to be out there, they're out there. Three of Pentacles and Ace of Cups. When you operate from the truth of who you are and from love to truth and to who you are, the right people are drawn to you with whom you build and establish and create and connect if you're worried to be ostracized or um, denied for expressing yourself and standing up for what you know and kind of waking up not only that you're not going to get ostracized quite the opposite i see you being embraced for it Right after the Ace of Cups, we have Knight of Cups. Okay, so this this translates into someone specific coming into your life, Ophiuchus, with a cup of love, with a open heart. They're interested in you, and it's romantic. Ace of Cups, Knight of Cups, it's, it's romantic. It's 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 um it's like you show yourself for who you are and someone really really likes it and this is someone who wouldn't be able to know how much they like you if you hadn't shown yourself right um that's just as an extra confirmation to feel confident i see you receiving a love offer could be a you know someone asking you out on a date confessing their feelings for you um doing you know making a gesture three of wands and we had the three of pentacles it's like they want to do something with you either work on something or create something um like they really believe that they can build with you and they recognize you as someone that is a really great match to them 
and they're looking forward to what could possibly lie ahead for you. They're coming with potential. They're not coming with promises. Um, they're not saying any certainties, but they feel like there are possibilities. Miracles are endless, right? Back to the cat spirit. They feel the possibilities that, and they want to explore it with you. And they're very open-hearted, very open-hearted, very honest, very um. Queen of Wands. So it's going to start as like a creative endeavor, doing something fun together. Um, I don't know why I'm picking up on a garden or something. Um, could be something nature oriented or creative, active, like maybe maybe sports of some sort, maybe something physical, but also fun. Um It just, hey, Ophi, do you want to do this thing with me, this project with me, this um, creation, creative endeavor with me? Um, it could, with the Queen of Wands, honestly, it could also just be a fun date. Um, but there's a lot, a lot of livelihood and vitality and charisma and energy and um it's just fun attraction and flirt it feels really good if you this this is really nice seven of wands there's also something with purpose that they want to work together with you on like so it's not just fun and play um it's also fun but it has a sense of purpose it has a sense of meaning it has um it's something that something to like there's a process of discernment or um I don't know why I'm hearing needle in a haystack, like finding something of worth in like a pile of something that need that needs it to be like um, picked from. Like uh, it's like going through beads and finding just the specific beads that you want. You know, like I don't know how you call it. Forget the word. Um, but it's it's of importance of some sort uh it needs to be cleaned of cleaned of bullshit pretty much i don't know if you're doing that or if that's the thing that they're asking you to do with them or for them it's like there's a level of work involved but it's not like not like a job necessarily, not like paid, but there's like something, working on something together, pretty much. I feel like I'm just reiterating. Queen of Cups. Okay. I'm picking up on an underlying uh, sexual tension, which is interesting. Like, why would it have to be underlined or undertoned um, if they're so openly expressive towards you? There's like another layer to this dynamic. Mm.
just commemorating something. Some of you might have no idea what I'm talking about. This could be like, you know, foreseeing. So get, come back to this reading maybe in a month. Um, my readings tend to get a completely <laughs> deeper um, tone to them when you rewatch them after a while and then you connect the dots with things that have happened. Um, commemorating something. Maybe like you're working on a, um, a memory book or a... No. Like documenting something. And you need to go through the documents to be like, this goes in, this does not. This picture goes in, this does not. Something like that. It's a creative process of documenting something of meaning and importance. Okay. There's some research as well. Um, Seven of Cups and the Justice card. There's a lot of Scorpio energy here. So I don't know if you have Scorpio uh, placements or this person. Um, and if it's not a Scorpio person, it's could it could be like a Scorpionic um, pattern of going deep into something with research and fearlessness, which come, came through um, in devotion and passion. Um, now, Seven of Cups and the Justice. Once again, I see the need to discern truth from illusion, important from non important, prioritizing. Um, And you really go deep into it with this person. You, you really commit yourself to it. It's something you feel strongly about. You just put your put your focus onto it. It gives you something. It gives you a sense of purpose. And then once that is, once that happens, and there's clarity. Six of Pentacles comes reward. So you're going to be rewarded for this work somehow. Um, confirmation Ace of Pentacles came right under the Ace of Cups. So you're definitely rewarded for a really good job of discerning right, false from true, important from non important. Here. And I think it's coming from this person or through this person. You managed to dive through, like, someone is asking you, hey, can you sort through this and tell me what is true, what is false, what is real, what is not, what is um, legitimate and what isn't, and kind of make corrections and clarifications. And you're like, I'm on it. <laughs> and you're doing a really good job at it. Um, 
And I think you do it from passion, from your own devotion. Uh, you just are like, yeah, I believe in that. Yeah, I want to do that. And you do it. And then, okay, here's your payment. <laughs> and you're like, oh, great. And I do see a new relationship, a romantic one, forming. Uh, I think it's likely somehow connected. It could not. It could be two separate things, but I think it's connected. I'm going to look deeper into this dynamic. I'm going to look into you and your person of interest. In this case, could be this person coming through, or if not, anyone else that you're dealing with. Um, so this will be your love sequel. And you'll find it on master channel membership. And if you join that, you'll have access to all the sequels, present and past and future, duh. <laughs> and, um, and it will also include karmic shifts and liberation. Anyway, links are below. Um, I'm trying to look still to see if there's anything, anything else I can um, bring up from this reading for you guys. It's a pretty beautiful reading. Government, judgment, and justice. Oh, yeah. Things are going to be really clear. Like, bullshit is going to be really resolved and cleared out. I think within a month to three months. I see you in a relationship and in a very good established some sort of income that you have going for you that is based in collaboration and something that you believe in and enjoy and have a creative spark towards. Okay, I'll see you in the extent in the in the sequel. I'm sorry. Um stay magic, stay true. I love you. <laughs> שווה לרקוד